Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to round numbers, entire lists, and entire matrices on the TI-84 Plus CE in two ways. Using the round command and selecting the number of decimal places in the mode. Without further ado, let's get to it. Let's start with the round command. Press the math button and then arrow right until you arrive in the numbers tab. And then you'll notice that the round command is the second option. So just press two on the number pad. Now the round command appears in the calculation screen. So uh, you have an open parentheses. And let's say for instance, we wanted to round 3.19485 to two decimal places. What I would do is inside this open parentheses, I would type in 3.19485 so this is what I have so far then I would uh, type in a comma and then I would type in the number of the number of decimal places to which I want this number to be rounded so 2 and then close the parentheses so this is what the entry looks like so now press enter and we get uh, this number rounded to two decimal places. You can round to the nearest whole number by uh, changing this to a zero. So let's say I want you to round this to the nearest whole number. So uh, since I have this on my screen already, all I'll do is just arrow up and I'll press enter to select it. And then I'm just gonna go arrow left and modify the entry and make this to a zero. So this is what uh, the entry looks like, and press enter. By putting a zero here, the calculator rounded this off to the nearest whole number. You can round an entire list to, of numbers to a certain number of decimal places. So let's say you have a list of numbers with different decimal places that you want to round to three decimal places open the round command so math and then arrow right and choose the round command and once you have this open a brace so press second and the open parentheses so you have this on your screen and then you're going to type in the numbers in the list separated by commas so the list I'm going to make up is 3.1 two five eight four six comma five point one two one five comma three point one five one eight five and I'm going to close off the brace because that's the end of my list so press second and the close parenthesis button to close the brace so this is what I have on the screen so far and now I'm going to uh, type in comma and now I want this to be round each of the numbers to be rounded to three decimal places so I'm going to type in three and then close the parentheses so this is what I have on the screen and press enter and then each of the numbers is rounded off to three decimal places. Likewise, you can round the numbers in a matrix to a specified number of decimal places. Once again, open the round uh, option, so math and the number and just press number two. So once you have the round option, what you're going to do is open uh, two uh, square brackets, so second, and the multiplication sign and once again second and the multiplication sign and that opens two square brackets which is what you want and now uh, I'm just going to do one row for the matrix and I'm going to type in um, the same numbers that I had for my list so I'm going to type in once again uh, 3.12584 four six comma five 
point one two one five comma three point one five one eight five and then I'm going to close off both uh, both of the uh, two square brackets so press second and the subtraction sign and once again second and the subtraction sign this is what I have on the screen press the comma button and I want each of these numbers to be rounded off to two decimal places so once I type in the comma I'm just going to type in two and then I'm simply going to close the parentheses so this is what I have on the screen press enter and you notice that I get a matrix with one row uh, with each of the terms uh, being rounded off to two decimal places. If you have more than one row in your matrix, you can simply close off one bracket at the end of a row, open a single bracket, and then close off the double brackets at the end of the very last row of the matrix. For example, uh, let's make a second row with exactly the same uh, numbers as the first row just to showcase uh, how this works. So once again I'm going to go ahead and open the round command and once I have the round command open I'm going to open the double brackets and now I'm going to type in the first row which once again has to be separated by commas so three point one two five eight four six comma five point one two one five comma three point one five one eight five and now this is the end of my first row so what I'm going to do is close off only one bracket so second and the subtraction sign and notice I've closed off only one bracket and now what I'm going to do is press second and the multiplication sign uh, to indicate that this is the beginning of my second row. So I'm going to type in the same numbers 3.125846 and then comma 5.1215 comma 3.1215 one five one eight five and now this is I only have two rows in my matrix that I'm uh, using as an example so I'm going to close off the double brackets now so press second and the subtraction sign and then once again second and the subtraction sign and this is what it looks like and now I'm going to type in the comma and I'm going to type in two because I want each of the numbers and the matrix to be rounded off to two decimal places. And now I'm going to close off the parentheses for the round command. This is what I have so far. Press enter. And I get a matrix with two rows and each of the numbers are now uh, each of the numbers is rounded off to two decimal places. You can also do calculations within the round option. So open the round command and then you can do let's say uh, 2.1564 times 5.16859 so if you want to do something like that and have the answer be rounded to let's say um, two decimal places so what you can do is open another parentheses and then type in 2.1564 times 5.16859 then close that parentheses and then press the comma button and then you're going to type in 2 to signify that the answer should be rounded off to two decimal places and finally close off the parentheses and press enter so this is what I have on the screen and the answer is rounded off to two decimal places the computations that we did with the round command could also be done uh, if you change the number of decimal places in the mode so if you go to the mode 
and you arrow down to where it says float you can change the number of decimal places here so just uh, let's say we wanted uh, three decimal places so once the cursor is on uh, three press enter and now if you press second mode to quit uh, any calculations you do the answer will return uh, the calculator will return the answer in three decimal places so let's say we do uh, 5.2365 times 2.3695 and press enter notice that the calculator returns three decimal places and just like the round command you can uh, take entire lists and entire uh, matrices and have them ro rounded so uh, you would just as before open a brace if you're trying to get a list to be rounded off so a brace like that and then type in whatever numbers you would and then close off the brace at the end so your numbers would be in between here and just simply press enter so for example let's say you wanted to round that list we used before uh, and you wanted to round it in the flow uh, round it in this this way using the mode so once you open a brace type in 3.125 eight four six comma five point one two one five comma three point one five one eight five and finally close off the brace and this time you don't have to type in how many decimal places you want because the calculator knows it will return uh, three decimal places regardless so press enter and you get the list back in uh, three decimal places you can do the same thing with matrices, uh, just like before, open double brackets at the very beginning and uh, close off the double brackets at the end of the very last row and you should be good to go. If you do go back and change uh, the mode uh, for, a, for a rounding operation, I would recommend going back and changing it uh, to float, otherwise your uh, other calculations that you don't wish to be rounded to that number of decimal places will also be off. I hope this video helps in some way. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series. And until next time, take care guys.